Hello, welcome back to Slice and Dice. We're back to the old playlist. Unfortunately, that playlist that said uh, royalty-free music had a single royalty or copyrighted song in it, so my entire video got claimed. It wasn't a copyright strike, it was just a copyright claim. If you're unaware, I'll tell you how it works real quick. There's basically three types of copyright uh, infringements, I suppose, on YouTube for music. There's the the ba like the basic one where they just take the money for the video there's or rather they do ad sharing and then there's the copyright claims where they tell you to take your video down and then there's the strikes which go against your channel many times i'll tell people oh this is copyrighted music i can't listen to it but it's just because uh it would get the video muted oh yeah i have a complex hard on sorry this looks different we'll play a complex hard for the youtube so what's complex hard well complex hard is this setting right here so instead of being just like pick a four cost curse this is now make your curses and blessings add up to four At the end of the third turn eight damage to all allies hero growth sounds terrible it basically adds in a blessing someone this is the second run of this i've ever played someone told me that they've never seen an eight cost blessing before in in complex hard but i've seen this hero growth multiple times now or not hero growth i've seen an eight before though another setting i turned on is the rarity setting so i can see if i get a rare curse because i got permadeath last night that's why my streak is at zero because i got permadeath and it was uh fun so the boring thing to do here is take top three poisoned i'm going to actually re-roll because we're doing we're having a little bit of fun right now we're not on a streak so i'm just kind of doing some fun stuff I'm going to reroll because I don't like hero growth as a blessing and I want something that I actually want to take. I actually feel like for the most part, if it keeps generating these curses like this, complex hard is probably easier because you can take the two twos. So let's reroll. Plus two rerolls. Uh, we did heroes return on two HP. Minus one to all sides. Oh. Well. So we have to add up to four, and I mean, I guess here let's do something. Let's do something crazy here. Let's let's get w wicked with it. I think this is bad, but let's take sandstorm plus two rerolls, and I don't know, man. This I Pharaoh's curse seems so bad. Must be equipped minus one to all side. It seems so bad. I'll take revive 2 HP. Although this seems really bad, I think this is a hardcore loss. And then if I lose this, I'm just gonna go back to regular. No, we'll do another complex. I don't care about losing that much. So we have, at the end of each turn, two damage to all allies, but we have two more rerolls and we revive at 2 HP. So we want to do everything in our power to not die, and we also want to do everything in our power to win on turn one or two. Those are our two uh, ideas here. Now with bonus rerolls, the entire landscape of this game actually shifts. If you can believe that. Because with, so normally when we talk about this game, we talk about this from the perspective of two rerolls. At four rerolls, a lot changes, including what's good. Like three, three mana sides are now significantly better. Single threes, I think. Also, I might just die in this fight, which would be pretty wacky. Wait, they come back at 2 HP. That's a buff for the lost. Wait a minute. This is good for lost, right? Hold on. I gotta check. I forgot to shoot my poison. It's actually a buff because the lost normally comes back at 1. That's crazy. Alright. Uh, so extra rerolls. I'm gonna take Caldera here. I think that Disciple is okay, but we're going to play Caldera because I think Caldera is a little bit better. And they come back at 2 HP and then die immediately. We're going to be on the lookout for... I think Priestess would be good for this run. The ability to play Flash in the mid game sounds good. Right now, I just need to be able to kill things, of course. Oh, I need to kill things. I need to do what I can to survive a turn. That's the other hard part. So we're going to kill this rat and poison another one. And then I should be able to win on the next turn. A lot of this setup so far is just going to be 
trying to make sure I actually can kill the enemies before I'm dead. And that's gonna be a race. Cleanse Potion? No, Wolf Ears for sure here. Definitely pick Wolf Ears. Swap Loss with Ruffian? Yeah, sure. I'm doing... We're having a lot of fun today. I'm doing stuff that I don't normally do. We're swapping units around. Things like that. It's exciting, you know? I think that for the long term, this is not how I would want to play the game because streaking on this is going to be a lot harder than it is anywhere else. But for the short term, it's fun, so let's do it. I said I'd give it a try at some point, so here I am. I also feel like, for the most part, you would not take the big curses unless the blessing is very good. Hmm. So, like, I think Berserker's a little worse here than he is normally because of Sandstorm. The damage is just pumping. Part of me wants to try playing Enchanter. Because I can actually get good use out of the wings here, too, with top man being yellow. But I need mana for Caldera. Yeah, I'm gonna go Berserker, but it's close. He's just gonna get a lot more value out of his Death Wish, and we're going to be rolling for it a lot more. And with four rerolls, we can. Again, a lot of what's good in this game changes because we have two extra rerolls. Like, a lot changes here. Because... Normally things that are bad, like single sides, single strong sides, are now significantly better. Something like Gambler here is actually pretty strong. You cannot dodge Sandstorm damage in case you were wondering. Now unfortunately, because of how I just play this game naturally, I'm going to waste a lot of my extra rerolls. I have to actively think a lot more. You at, you're at half. Okay, so I burst Bramble. This fight's just over. That's the other thing. The fight's gonna end a lot before I need to be too worried. But I can be rolling a little more aggressively. I don't need to be keeping ones. I think Remedy is really good. I think Flickering Blade is also really good, though. But it's less good because we have more rerolls. With, with four rerolls, I'm less likely to be settling. So let's just grab the Remedy. The best thing to see here, of course, is Juggler. I don't even know if it's actually that great, but I want it. I say we're just going to roll until we hit the cleave, but... Oh, I hit the cleave immediately. I just, I, if you just roll good, I guess it doesn't matter. Does it? Literally roll the correct sides and then you don't have to care. Petrify, weaken... I'm going to play... I'm actually going to let the defender roll for one damage here. The Scald is meaningless, so I will take the Vitality. Oh, actually, I could probably get Lethal if I roll... Okay, so we keep these two. I need one and one here. There's a Lethal on this turn if I look for it. Yeah, one and one, and then I need one damage out of Defender. You see, this is the sort of thing you have to be doing. You have to be leveraging your blessings here for potential turn one kills, instead of just settling for something that's good, because we're much worse off. But then you can burst, and then you can do two to the Goblin. See that? You have to be formulating it, that's all. Dude, I'm gonna pick Gambler. Actually, unironically, with four rerolls, this is the easiest take for Gambler I've ever seen. Uh, did I forget to apply the remedy, or did I just put it on my lost? I don't know. Yeah, because now, with four rerolls, it's possible that Gambler misses, but it's not that likely. You see? Jackpot, baby. And then if Berserker hits four, I think it's just lethal, right? There it is. This is an interesting run, because we're just go we're just racing the enemies because of Sandstorm, but we're so much stronger. It's kinda cool. This is instead of the more controlled style of base hard, this is live fast, die fast. Cause on turn two or three I'm going to be dead. Now I'm going to do something, again, that I don't normally do here because we're just kind of branching out. I'm going to play Lich's Tome. I know I never take this, but Lich's Tome on Caldera here, giving me two damage. I don't care that much about the spawn that it's going to make. I'll have plenty of other good sides to play on the way to winning. I can even just get the, the thing with Scald, potentially. Come on, Gambler. I do need to roll a block, or I have to kill the war chief. I have to kill the goblin. I, I need to roll a block out of the defender here. You don't hold anything but five. I roll all the way every time. Okay. So I need to kill... 
I have a block, which means I get to kill a war chief. That's the point. Oh, actually, if nobody's dying. Yeah, nobody is dying. I should skull. Oh, I can't play it like this. Hang on, I should skull. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Think about it from the scald angle. Two to pseudo. Four plus one to war chief, and then scald. And then next turn, I can probably pull lethal. Next turn, Berserker has a guaranteed death wish. Just have to be careful I don't keep using Caldera beyond when I need, when I need to. Caldera will lock me into these fights right now as well. But two damage mana gain is very good. Death wish. Okay, that's lethal. Priestess. I did say I wanted Priestess. I'm down to play Priestess. The end. Right? I'm just going to take this. Flash is really good here. Competes with Scald a little bit, but the heal one to all is also good. I'm going to go Priestess. I think that in this boss fight, I should also ditch the Lich's Tome, because this is going to be... We are forced to play this fight over multiple turns. I believe. I expect, anyway. Two mana is good. Three healing is good to save. Yeah, we can hold some saves here. And I could... I can lock the one, but I don't want to. I should have locked the one. Uh, it's fine. I'm gonna kill Gaitha. This Gaitha's not doing anything bad. And Defender should... Actually, we should block for Priestess. I should have blocked the one. I could have banked two mana. But I think it's right to roll. Because my game plan was actually just to block everything there. And then set both of them low. It's alright. Two mana lets me play Flash. I can actually heal a ton here. I don't know how good it is though. Don't lock the two on four rerolls. Four, five, three. Okay. This should be good. We're gonna go Magrat first here. Ah, uh, I should play Flash first. Then heal one to all. Hmm. Actually, what I prefer here is to pop Agnes's fire, although it doesn't matter, you have to pop one anyway. Never mind, I take it back. I was gonna say I should pop Agnes's fire here, but I don't think that's right. That's the correct order, that way we're maximizing our block. This is why I didn't want Lich's Tome, by the way, because if Agnes spawns two wolves, we're gonna be here for a while. This is a really good roll, actually. Unfortunately, my guy is getting clobbered up there. Remember, he comes back at 2 HP, so uh, don't do anything crazy here. I should just roll for Death Wish for sure. Leave? A gambler dies. Uh, what if you cast Flash here? And then play on Gambler. I think he's dead, right? Yeah, he's dead to the little sandstorm. Hmm. Okay, I need Defender to roll me a block, which is like he can't miss. Oh, and if I'm playing it like this, I shouldn't hold the one damage because I have to burst Agnes anyway. Alright, it's fine. We play Flash. Oh wait, wait, it's not good. We need to be going fast here. I can't be slowing down, but I really don't want to have anyone reviving at 2 HP. However, I think that given the circumstance, it's probably going to become apparent that I have to. And I think I'm just gonna need to let Berserker die here. That's the takeaway. I need to let Berserker go. You sometimes you're gonna have to make hard choices like that, but we'll come back. Unless Gambler doesn't roll the damage to kill anyway, which could happen, I suppose. Ah, you know what? Thought rescinded. Chainmail is pretty good. Harpoon is also excellent, but again, this is a settle item. Like you're taking this and you're going, okay, now this side is better. I'm just going to go for Chainmail. I think it's good to have Berserker have more HP. Unfortunately, you can't use him in this fight. 
a chest. I think the plus one here is not useful. It's also been long enough since I last played the infinite that I will potential. I'll consider playing it if I get offered it. Yeah, okay, I don't have Lisa on the spiker. I have it if I roll five. But we need to start holding some ones for the illusions, and I'm gonna look for a three out of Defender. Two and one and two. We can go. I'm gonna kill the chest here. It's actually. No, it's terrible to kill the chest here. We're wasting way too much damage. I need to put it all on the spiker. I can't let this thing live. But unfortunately, it's going to continue the Berserker snowball, where he's just going to keep dying if I do it this way. So, I need to roll three damage. I need to roll five. Yeah, okay. That's very good. Because now I can just blow through the spiker and then cast flash, and nobody's dead. The chest will run, and then we kill the illusion. Berserker can win it for us with Cleave. I did get super weakened, though, didn't I? Oh, well, doesn't matter. I was going to say it's actually impossible for me to win on this turn, but it's not impossible. Berserker can clutch, and he did. First try. Okay, I think Bard is a lot worse because uh, I can hit my sides more consistently. So I'm going to go Knight for the big shielding. I think defensive options are better. Bard is better and Jester is better because they bring you the ability to hit more consistently, but this is not a run where I need to be hitting consistently. In fact, I don't. I already am hitting consistently. I can basically hit whatever I want, so it shifts the landscape. And... Wait. Oh, I killed the quartz. And it was hitting Berserker. This fight should be okay. I don't think it's right for my knight to exert himself here. I'm just gonna end my turn. The graves will die when I kill the bones. It'll be fine. I just need to be able to hit as well, because we're gonna go for big scald here. A cleave is ideal. This might be good too. It is right. Shuriken Monocle. Shuriken's pretty great. Range chain to both right sides. It's a very good item. Unfortunately, it doesn't go super well on my team. But it's good later. Did I not re-equip Remedy? I think I didn't re-equip Remedy. Feel free to type your comments in the comments section about that so I can uh, uh, question mark you. Here, I'll put it out. We can, we can put ranged on the one damage. Who knows? Is this a fight for Witch's Tome? I actually think it's fine. The fights where we're going to want to be putting Lich's Tome out are fights where I'm planning on playing Scald. That is the criteria. Do I think in this fight I'm going to get high value out of Scald? If yes, I should lock Lich's Tome. I'm gonna hold the three vitality. I kind of want to hunt for Cleave. But I think I should just take the four. Yeah. Although he is dying. I want to look for... I'm going to roll all the way on Gambler for five. It happens. Yeah, I'm going to sneeze. Hold on. Better. We're going to get Berserker the Vitality. And I'm going to go ahead... I'm not going to hit the Scald on this turn because we can play pretty slow. The top pseudal is now dead. The bottom pseudal is surrounded in a pile of bones. I could definitely die here though. I got 100% see it. I have definitely set myself up to die in this fight because that was a very slow first turn. But we will see. I can potentially scald twice here. It's a very swingy combat. That's all. I need three mana, I need five, and then I need a death wish or a one cleave out of this guy. Good. Okay. I think this combat now swings in my favor. But we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. 
I'm gonna make another bones. I'm gonna put three here, and I guess I'm just killing the pseudo. Oh, I have to burst first. Okay, I can actually, I can do this even better. I can go burst, burst, and then you scald the entire fight out. Yeah. Okay. The only problem is Berserker dies, but that's okay. And maybe he doesn't have to die, though. Next, you can flash. Yeah. You see, it's very... It looks really bad with this setup, and then the entire combat shifts in your favor. Because you hit the swing turn. Now, unfortunately, I am locked in a bit of a downward spiral here because of Lich's Tome, called There is a Dead Character, and I had to exert. And it becomes kind of hard to dig my way out because Sandstorm is this constant pressure on me. Let me take a first off quick look here at Ear, Flash, Heal 1, Kill this Bones. Wait, where does it spawn the bones? Oh, that's weird. It's like it's spawning out of the bottom unit. Uh, I think that Caldera needs to pass. Heal, heal one to all doesn't help me. Am I am I able to get out of this? I think the problem is if Caldera passes, I'm like just dying. I'm absolutely just dying here. Four goes here. Okay, so here's an important thing to notice. I think I can't win this fight on this turn without- I, I think I can't win this fight on this turn, period, right? Because, look at the math. One character kills this Bones. One character kills this Bones. Who kills this Slimelet? The answer is nobody, because Priestess can't do it, Knight's exerted. So the only character who can kill something here is Caldera, which means I can't win the fight on this turn. Which doesn't mean I've lost, it means that- wait, what if Caldera scalds? Okay, I need to roll a cleave here. Okay, this is exactly what I wanted to roll. So, Caldera puts two here. No, because I know the bones comes in down here. Caldera puts two here. I cleave there. I scald. God, it's... I'm... Every single one of these fights has felt like I'm in the most unwinnable position of my life, and then I go, oh, hang on a minute. And then I win the fight. It's so wild. By the way, uh, Valkyrie, on this save file, my last character. I have not seen Valkyrie yet. I'm going to be picking Valkyrie here. Rescue into the sandstorm. If I can give this a plus one, is going to win the game. <laughs> Hang on, it might be really good. Hang on. Hang on, this might actually be sick. I, it's either really good or the worst idea I've ever had. But we're not here for any sort of crazy min-maxing. We're here because I'm having fun. We're here to do something crazy. Okay. Uh, Berserker should look for Deathwish every time he's dying. Very... that's the wrong character. Two mana, one mana gives me Scald. Berserker can now look for Cleave. Gambler, you can just do two damage. It's the same as five damage here. Uh, we'll go ahead and roll. Who wants me to lock this for Valkyrie? I'm gonna keep going. Okay. Berserker defies death. It makes a Bones. I don't care that much. We're going to be taking a pretty passive turn as a result of the rolls. This is the setup turn, and then next turn's the delivery turn. Probably. Hold on. I'm gonna do two here and then kill this Bones. That's better setup. You see that? And then we can set these two down and we can scald. 
If I can, if I, again, if I get out of this, it's absurd. Every one of these fights is just an exercise in absurdity, I feel. Okay, hold on. I can hit this guy for one. And then nobody's dying except for Priestess? Can you ever save Priestess here? Do you think? I'd have to heal her twice. Maybe I could do it with Splash. I kind of want to look for... I mean, if I roll Death Wish, the fight just kind of ends also. I'm going to lock two mana for Caldera. What do you want to do here, Priestess? I guess one mana's fine. What else are you going to do here? But I should roll for Death Wishes, for sure. Ten damage is good. I should lock the two there. Okay, never mind, I hit. Just roll good. Let me just look at it real quick. I think this might be lethal. It sure is. Can you like can you believe what I'm getting away with in these fights? It's insane. It's so much fun. Dynamo is kinda interesting on the single heal, but if the fight goes three turns, I'm probably already dead, and Overflowing Chalice is also one of the best items in the game. Okay, surely this time we're gonna be caught, right? This one looks kinda hard to deal with. Jackpot, never mind. Gambler is popping off. I gotta say, Gambler, I expected to perform well, but Gambler's kind of overperforming. Four damage lets me kill the ogre. It's so weird because I'm like using Lich's Tome to set up and then I'm just scalding everything down. That'll be fine. I could have held the Death Defy, but I wanted to kill the Ogre. And then ideally I win on this turn through Death Wish. The actual reason we're, we're still alive here is because the game plan is on turn one, nobody dies. On turn two, everybody dies. And I have huge death wish cash outs. When everybody's dying, everybody's proccing death wish. And everybody is proccing death wish a lot. Now, real quick, I just wanted to bring to your attention the original thing I thought with Lich's Tome, which is you can do this. I know it might look bad. That's probably because it is. But... Like, just bear with me for a second here. Just just uh, come with me on a bit of a journey, right? And then you play Scald and they all die. <laughs> and then you've done, for all that hard work, two damage to a snake. Alright, that didn't look good. Uh, but there's going to be a time where you can do that a little better. I was hoping the bones could be distributed better. Maybe. But anyway. I'm looking for death wishes here. Not death defies. No. Okay. This might be... I have to res. Yeah, just kill the snake. Okay, so Gambler dies here. Unless I can kill the troll, which I cannot. I can do 12 to the troll. Okay, so let's play... Flash. I'm actually going to save Gambler. No, Gambler's going to die next turn. I'm going to save Priestess. The hard part about this, I think I might have to have two deaths here. I might need to let Berserker die as well. Because I need to res him. Ah, but it brings the bones. And then I kill the bones. Alright, no problem. Oh wait, I can then remedy Gambler. Okay. It's a shame because Berserker goes to two after this. That's the real problem here. And I'm not actually sure I can kill this troll unless I hit a death wish. Valkyrie death wish is the way out. Not Death Defy, Valkyrie. Death Wish. Not you, Berserker. Five damage, okay. Alright. <laughs> no. 
No, it's fine. Next turn will be better. No, 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 it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. This turn we hit the death, the, the death wish, not the death defy. Oh, okay. That's six, seven, eight. I need to unhold. I mean, it doesn't matter what I hold here. Okay, it's lethal. Sadly, Berserker dies. That's a real shame. Bash? How is Bash here? Bash is consistently okay. And I think he's never good. I'm okay with playing Dabalist here. I can force mana. I forgot to move the chainmail to Berserker. That's my bad. I did mean to do that. Oh wow, my gambler rolled a four. That number doesn't exist. Weird. This one's gonna be interesting. Uh, I'm going to look for the shield out of Dabalus. Good. Good. Don't play the rescue. I actually shouldn't have this here. I should have Witch's Tome off on this fight. Weave. Okay. This is so... so brutal. I have made more problems than I have solved, I believe. I also think that uh, I should probably just hit the alpha here, because it's likely that I'm going to be able to kill the Hydra naturally. I'm gonna burst Priestess. Although, instead of bursting Priestess, if I need to do that, I should just play Flash. Because then I get two health on Berserker instead. I'm settled in for a good Scald here. It's a shame that I have to spend my Overflowing Chalice mana. It's very hard to actually hang on to it, though. Berserker, I need a death wish, please. What does plus one mana give me? It gives me four. Let me roll. Three mana would be good here. I'm gonna hold the mana. I'm looking for three mana, please. I want three mana here. I want death wish here. I guess I should hold death to five to make priestess live in a position where she should not. I'm gonna roll. I want the mana. Yeah, I didn't hit it, but I did hit Death Wish. That's good. The hole gets deeper. And I get more lost. Alright, well. Are you, you're dying by a lot. Okay. I'd like to look at this without scalding, actually. Because I can bank the mana. You go... Kill wolf. Kill bottom bones. I can bank the mana. Okay, yeah. Ah, which means... I used all my rerolls, unfortunately. Someone get this... Someone, someone get this Lich's Dalm off of me. I'm gonna use Remedy, because I don't want to waste the one mana. I may as well heal the one. Don't worry. It's just set up. Just remember, repeat the mantra to yourself. It's ju we're just doing a setup. It's all gonna pay off here in a second. Remember the plan. Is that a 16? <laughs> oh god. Oh no. Okay, uh huh. Alright. Two, and then I go Scald, Scald. Tell me you're dying. Hmm. Mm hmm. Okay, so one damage on the Hydra. Scald, Scald. He dies. The fight doesn't end. How many rerolls do I have? I have two rerolls. Okay. I need two mana and one mana. And probably better than the three, actually. The 
heal? Two mana, one mana. What about the heal? Do I get the... Does Priestess live this? Does Priestess come back from this? Okay, you go... Scald, Scald. Oh, but because I put Dabalist like this now, I'm just... Yeah. Dabalist needs to not be rolling defense. Dabalist needs damage or mana here. I messed up. I could definitely attack with that. Okay, that's not good. New plan, new plan, new plan. You ready for this? I got a crazy idea for you. Kill Alpha. Just fucking slam Flash. <laughs> that doesn't seem very good. But a uh, middle of the road play. One Scald. One. Two Flashes. No, that seems really bad. Uh, okay. One Scald, one Flash, and then the Hydra just magically dies, right? No. It only gets hit once, right? Hang on. I gotta test something here. I don't actually know how this works. Oh, I don't know. Oh, okay, hold on. I gotta I gotta do a full test here. So I can go one, two, three, four. The bones! Alright, hold on. Okay, I can use a skeleton to kill a hydra. This is the information I was trying to figure out. Ag, says the Hydra. This should be fine. I just messed up. I should not have rerolled this. That was one, two, one, two, three, four. Okay, I can't do it without using Valkyrie, I think, but I can, like, kill Alpha, flash, 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 and save Valkyrie. Okay, that plays fine. Well, I wouldn't say this is fine. I would say this is a nightmare that I cannot escape from. But I did kill the Alpha. And now I'm going to kill the Hydra. <laughs> How am I going to kill the Hydra? One, two, three, four. Oh no, I can't. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Please hold. I have to take a moment. Okay. We're <laughs> just gonna, you know. It's just like Winston Churchill said, when you're digging through hell, keep digging. <laughs> it's, uh, <laughs> this turn is not okay. How am I killing this Hydra if I'm burning all my mana on Flash? The answer is I'm never doing it. Okay, so obviously I need to reroll. I need to hold these and I need to just roll the rest. We could just go nuclear. I don't think that's the right idea. Deathify, I think I lock it. Roll me a death wish, please, Berserker. Okay, Berserker just rolled three straight X's, so you're dead to me now. Okay, it's uh, it's, it's playable. If Berser next turn Berserker won't triple miss, that's the plan. My entire team's one HP currently. You ready for this? Here we go. The setup has led to this moment. Damn, it's close. It's actually close. I think I need a death wish, though. Because if you notice there, I was actually two mana over what I needed. So I need to roll a death wish to kill the wolf. 
Come on, Berserker. You have literally done nothing but let me down. All right, Berserker. You have continued to let me down. Enjoy your trip to hell on the Hell Express. All expenses paid. It didn't die. I think, gentlemen, I regret to inform you, I think that this may be the end. Every road draws to its conclusion. He's one off. I'm one hit away. Uh, how sad. This Hydra is just a fucking... It's an unkillable menace. Okay. It's not over yet. I can... If you can believe it, I can think of a way to weasel my way out of this fight. If you can believe it, I can dream it. I think flashing this many times might be wrong. Because, okay, here's the deal. At this point, I'm not looking for the line that says, oh, we live and everyone's full HP and we're going to have a great time. I'm looking for the line that says this run doesn't end here. And the line that says this run doesn't end here is to save Valkyrie. I guess I can do it with Flash, though. No, I actually think it's better to save Valkyrie. Unironically, I'm pretty sure it's better to let everyone but Valkyrie and Priestess die. I'm gonna play Flash. Would be better? Hold on. Okay. Oh, it's- wait. There we go. That's what I want. I want to end with two mana. Trust. You gotta trust me here. I'm, I'm on the X Games shit now. Okay. Come on, Valkyrie. Come on, Valkyrie. Oh, here we go. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Hold on. And now, after all of that, Berserker can finally roll a fucking death wish. Bless. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, I can save. I gotta, I gotta formulate the idea here a little bit better. What am I doing? I'm... I, if I'm, if I'm letting Berserker die, I'm letting Berserker die. I think I don't save him. Unless I roll Death Defy. Maybe I just roll Death Defy here. 10 damage. Hold on. Hang on a minute. Uh huh. And then I end turn. Because the chalice is on Caldera. Hold. Just, uh, just bear with me for a second here. You go... First here and a stall on one off. Three damage to wolf. Two damage here. There you go. And you thought I was going to die in that fight. <laughs> and you thought... And you thought I was going to die in that fight? Formaline Paraiba? I think air is pretty garbage here. Give me pocket mirror. Definitely give me pocket mirror here. I'm going to silently remove the Lich's Tome from Valkyrie. Mm -hmm. Back in this bucket of syrup. I can cleave to kill a sniper with Scald. If 
I'm locking three mana, I should actually be rolling for something better than one mana out of Caldera. Six is a good one. Two mana is good. Let me look at this turn real quick, so I can kill the Null. And I can... Heal one to all. Hmm. If I could just save Valkyrie here and end with the Overflowing Chalice, I would be pretty happy. I can if I roll Vitality, I think. Alright, roll me Vitality so I can look at it. Thank you. That's lethal. Or not lethal. Uh, it, I think it's not lethal. Decidedly. Yeah, it is. Cool. It's a... Uh, it's rescue. It's it's dying anyway, so it doesn't matter. Right? Better to use the... Valkyrie shield. Oh, wait. Oh, the one was actually important. I see. Okay, I have to spend my mana. It's okay. It's positive because I killed... Oh, yeah, you should block for yourself. It's positive anyway because I killed... Uh, what's his name? The Null. And now I roll Cleave, Scald, and Rescue. And we're fine. I need a Cleave. I need a Cleave. I'm rolling for the Heal one to all, also. Okay, Cleave. I'll just, just real quick here. I believe this should be fine. Scald. And Flash. See? No problem. I'm gonna roll for the rescue because the death defy is useless. I just wanted to make sure that the rest of that was good. Death wish would also work. Yeah, that's also fine. Because then we stun the Cyclops. Uh, sure. If I play it like this, we're good. Priestess is... This is probably the highest value I've ever seen Priestess be. But that's because of the nature of the fight, of course. Warlock. You know what this team really needs? More characters dying. I could actually see on-demand heal from Strand to be really good here. <laughs> hmm. But like, Warlock is just strong. Generate six mana, blow an enemy away. Four mana, pain. I'm gonna take Warlock. Your Chalice should probably go on someone else, though. Let's put it here. I'm gonna give Warlock the three max HP, actually. I'm gonna give Chalice to Dabalus. Dabalus is responsible. Oh, also, I have the chain for Death Wish. I didn't see that until now. Troll King turn one poisoning me is gross. I don't like it. It's not cool. What the hell? I can probably just kill him, though. If I generate enough mana. Which I can't unless I roll three. Okay, now I need mana from Warlock. Four mana, please. Is that good enough? That is good enough. It doesn't kill, though. It's probably fine, though. I can also remedy the poison coming in. Hmm. Real question, though. How am I going to kill the Slate following this? Oh, and the answer, of course, is I am not going to kill the Slate. The Slate lives. There's nothing you can do about it. So we should probably focus the Slate, actually. And we end with Overflowing Chalice. Okay, this is the correct play. Don't get baited. Our team one-shots Troll King because of Death Wish. Trust. No, it's fine. Trust me. Trust me, I've never been more in control of a situation than I am in control of this situation right here. I would actually go so far as to say this is easy. It's actually the easiest run of my life. Probably. <laughs> okay, and then we have six mana. Three plus four plus Warlock. I'm one damage off. How upsetting. Okay, so I just have to hit Mana here. I have to hit something other than this. I'm gonna hold Death Defy. I can also look for Death Wish. It's very right to look for Death Wish on Berserker. He has two sides that are better. Okay. 
This is for sure lethal. It just has to be. Good. Singularity or Deadly Bolt. Deadly Bolt's a little hit or miss. Singularity is... Okay. You get plus two on these. Oh, wait, it's really good for Priestess. I might actually, in a universe I never expected to find myself in, be keeping Priestess to the end of this run. Because Priestess is kind of carrying me right now. Four, four. It's actually all good. I miss Scald. Remember when I could just press Scald here? I remember. Uh, it's fine. We get a lot of health back. I'm gonna burst this wisp, and then next turn with Chalice, I will just speak the old tongues to the demon and send him away. Don't bring the skeletons back. I don't want to relive that. The demon kind of looks like he's wearing a mask to me. Kind of looks like he's wearing a red, like, bodysuit type mask. Do you see that? I would like a death wish, please. Not you. There you go. Alright, this is almost certainly lethal. Make sure I death wish properly. Ah, oh, I'm actually one damage off. Can you believe it? Oh, the warlock! Oh, I didn't see him! <gasps> My greatest mistake. Oh, definitely Prophet here. Prophet's pretty sweet. Priestess, I want to say, just take a moment, everyone. Bless, Priestess. Bless. Thank you for your unbelievably hard work in this run. I ain't never seen Priestess do that well before. Here, let's put Singularity on Valkyrie. In case of emergency, break glass. My Warlock. <laughs> My Warlock. What have I done? Uh, I should roll for the heal, too. This, this curse combo, by the way, Sandstorm plus 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 and revive 2 HP, this is fucked up. I'm having a great time. This is unbelievably fucked. What's happening to you? You're getting shot by the sniper. I actually think I should just be going for the kill here on the spiker. I can definitely do it if I hit two mana. I think it's just, he's just dead if I hit two mana. This is good because it kills a sniper. Because it's range, don't forget. Okay, this turn, this fight's actually not going to look as much of a horror as every other fight I've played today has. This is going to be one of the easier fights, in incredibly. Pray for Angel Feather, by the way. That's what I'm doing right now, I'm praying for Angel Feather. Please, Lord, show me Angel Feather. Oh, that's okay. Charged Hammer is mid. Eye of Horus is definitely right here. Imagine Lich's Tome, but it doesn't make skeletons. How does that sound? Pretty crazy, huh? I'm gonna put it on profit. There might be a world where I use both. But I don't have Scald anymore, so it's a little worse, I will say. That saves Dabalist. We can take a nice easy little maintenance turn here. Ideally, I generate a little mana. Yeah, and then I just let the chalice overflow. And next turn, I will just blow the Hydra out, hopefully. Three damage is the best thing Berserker is going to hit here. Deathify is also pretty good. Means I get to put the HP on Warlock. Oh, I should remedy the incoming weaken also. And I think we might just have to kill these enemies legit. We'll see. Uh, 
Death wish is good. If Berserker rolls this death wish, I'm in a pretty good spot. Two mana. This might be lethal as is. Okay, let me look. This is the wrong death wish. I don't care. I'm one off. Oh man. I'm one man off. Definitely want to hold the six damage death wish. I don't want to roll the rescue, but I think I need to keep the mana. Because three mana is lethal, or close to it here anyway. And I'm going to roll these two. Three damage feels kind of meaningless here. Hey, welcome to the pit, Berserker. You're dying now too. Welcome to the club. Okay, I have 11... Da I have 11 mana. I can kill two. Profit is guaranteed dying right now. The only way to save profit is to soothe, soothe. Here I go playing a nightmare again. You ever seen your characters have no uh, HP but alive because Sandstorm and Regen proc together? Pretty cool, huh? I think with Regen 2, they might actually not be able to die. This should be lethal. Yeah, look at that. Can you believe? I just, I would like to take a moment here. Can you believe we're here? Oh my god, it's Wanderer. Oh, he's so good because I can always hit quad use, right? And then he gets to do 8 damage. Oh, but I have Eye of Horus. It's 12 damage. Oh, but I have Lich's Tome? Wait. Hang on, I'm thinking about the Lich's Tome angle. Give me a second here. Because you could... In this fight, with Lich's Tome, you would be able to just kill them all? Well, you would keep making them. I'm gonna take leader. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not doing this to myself. Sadly, I don't have anything to chain with. I guess I can put pocket mirror on... I'm gonna put it on... I'm gonna put it on leader. Reuse is good, and nothing to range, nothing to chain. Making a skeleton in this fight is not that scary. But what am I getting a plus one on, really? Valkyrie, I guess, but making five skeletons is that scary. I'm gonna go with that Witch's Tome. Witch's Tome did its job in this run, and it was fine. And now we can move on. Hey, leader, don't die here. Smith will save him. That's if I also saves him. Same effect, so I can roll for something else now, like reuse, ideally. Go for reuse. Okay. You can just shield Warlock for three. Wait, go in the correct order. Heal first, then Smith for three. Save you. I have 13 mana, which I think in this fight means you... Part of me wants to hit Soothe three times. I don't think that's right. I think the correct choice is to nuke Hand and nuke the Saber. There are three sabers coming for me. Inside you, there are three sabers. Oh god, see a doctor. Freeze. For sure. I need mana. Plus 16. <laughs> uh, nobody, like, everyone is basically full HP. We're just dying to this anyway. Oh, I missed Overflowing Chalice value on the last turn, by the way. Maybe it was like... Maybe there was a middle play I could do, like, Kill Saber, Play Soothe. That might have been better. Too late. I roll for mana. Good. I hold the four. I need Profit to roll me mana here. Please don't roll an X. Okay. That just sucks. 
Welcome back to another exciting episode of Oh No, What Have I Done? <laughs> oh no. What have I done? <laughs> Love this show. It's not as bad as it may seem. I just want to make sure that you know that. It's pretty bad. But it's not as bad as it may seem. I'm one off of saving. Oh, Valkyrie, where's your HP? I need Valkyrie to have one more HP here. Okay, hold on. Do you see it? I saw it. I just saw it. Three, two, puts this guy to exactly 13. And then I... Hang on. I'm off by one mana. Because the play was uh, reuse the death wish, kill the saber, and then 13 damage kills hand with Warlock's Blaze. That's not right. However, there's another play we can do here. You hit the saber. I hit a different saber, though. Uh-huh. Okay. And then you give yourself that much mana, plus 11. If I soothe Valkyrie lives... That doesn't count as rescuing, I guess. That does. Okay. <laughs> Alright. Okay, okay, okay. I'm, st I'm getting there. I'm inching towards it. I am slightly off of lethal. It's fine. I have to save Dabalus, though. Okay. I do 6 damage to the hand. I burst Dabalus. This is maybe the most in control of my destiny I've ever been. This may look bad. But let me assure you, I have lethal on this turn. Yep, and it's just that easy, folks. Just roll me mana, please, Dabalist. Dabalist, I would like mana, please. Dabalist. Oh, you almost did it. Oh, it was clutch or kick, Dabalist, and you're getting kicked. Saw it, I held it in my hand. And then it slipped away. Okay, the hand, speaking of hand. Uh, I burst the hand, I'm going to hit another saber down to two. Hand is now... I should set up for a big bloodlust play, actually. Reuse bloodlust gives me 12 mana. Farewell, Dabalist. You get what you deserve, rat. I can do this. Reuse, I need bloodlust. Please. Please, Warlock. Okay, I need to check this. I have 17 mana. You're done. You're done. No, you're full HP, you're exerted. It's the same. We kill this saber. I have five extra mana. I have no overflowing chalice. It's, it's close. It's so close. It's like we're on the razor's edge here. I can live to next turn if I burn all my mana. Everyone's at one. The saber's exerted. I have to be able to do 10 damage next turn. What are the odds? I have to be able to, I have to, be able to do 10 damage and not die to Sandstorm. Importantly. I'm always killing Hander. You have to kill Hand, so we can start from here. What about this? Regen 2? Two sabers swinging on me? It's never this. You, I think you have to kill two sabers. And unfortunately it has to be the one hitting Warlock, I fear. 
And then leader is alive if I do this. I think it's this. I think it has to be this. I can do it. Is it lethal? It's, it's close. I think we're there. I think we... If you can believe it, we did it. I gotta... Oh, I gotta... I gotta bask in this one for a moment. We made it. We actually won this run. That might be the most spectacular run of this game I've ever played. Holy. The, I, I took these and I thought to myself, ah, you know what? I should do something outside of the norm. This was so unbelievably cool. There was never a moment where I wasn't fighting for my life, but the plus two rerolls made it actually feel pretty fair because I just had the ability to hit my best sides and I was able to use the sandstorm with the death wish as well. 20 minutes ago, I thought this run had come to a close in that fight against the Hydra. And yet, here I am. I, I, I just, I can't believe it. I think that I have changed my mind and I will now, for YouTube, start alternating. I think I'm going to start alternating runs. The base game is pretty fun. This is also pretty fun. So we're going to start mixing in some complex hard runs. That was a good time. Who knows, maybe next time you see me, we'll play 5% generated heroes. Wow. All right, well, hey, thanks for watching. If you did enjoy, don't forget to leave me a like. Subscribe if you want to see more, and I'll see you in the next one. Have a good one.